Okay. So now we are going to handle the non-linear problem. Okay, non-linear problem. So since if the if the if your valve is behaving or the characteristic of the valve is let us consider the non-linear. And non-linear means just we have taken the example here q naught is equals to c root under h. This is the non-linear characteristic of the valve, right? So what will happen? Now we have to see, okay? So how we are going to find out the transfer function for the, this non-linear model? This is the non-linear model, or you can say the non-linear differential equation, right? So one of the best, one of the easiest tool to solve such type of problem is the linearization. Is the linearization? Or linearization? What is the linearization? Linearization means we have the Taylor series expansion. What what is the meaning of the Taylor series expansion? If if anyone asks what is linearization, then you have to you have to give the answer. Sir, linearization is one of the technique by which we can we have utilizing the Taylor series expansion, and we have expanding the non-linear term around the steady state value, around the some initial value or some steady state value. Here the non-linear term is come in the term of h height okay and therefore the, the uh, sorry the nonlinear term will come in the term of the q naught theek hai aur function kis mein hai h mein q naught is a function of h nothing else plus yes or no so the steady state value kiska lenge hum log h ka right hs so near about the hs it means you have fixed the hs and then you are going to linearize मतलब आपको पता है कि ये स्टडी स्टेट व्हाट शुड बी द स्टडी स्टेट वैल्यू फॉर द सिस्टम एंड वेयर यू आर गोइंग टू लिनराइज इफ योर स्टडी स्टेट वैल्यू वी आर गोइंग टू चेंज साइमल्टेनियसली देन इट मींस व्हाट एवर यू लिनराइज्ड मॉडल दैट मॉडल डिड नॉट गिव और डज नॉट गिव द एक्यूरेट ट्रांसफर फंक्शन रिमेंबर दिस इज द लिमिटेशन ऑफ द लिनराइजेशन मॉडल दिस इज द लिमिटेशन ऑफ द लिनराइजेशन मॉडल आई वांट टू रिपीट वंस अगेन इफ योर स्टडी स्टेट वैल्यू विल चेंज If your steady state value will change or the initial value will be changed simultaneously, then because you have only one thing around you have to take out. Let's say your steady state is some x around you have to take out x one around, and let's say after some time the steady state value will go to change x two. Then what the transfer function you have found found that transfer function is corresponding to the x one, not from the corresponding to the x two, right? So there are some there may be some deviation from. The transfer function of of, of at the steady state x one or maybe the x two, right? And therefore, I am saying this is the limitation of the linearization technique. However, this is the most easiest and most approachable technique. Okay, if the limitation, if the steady state value will not change. Okay, now question is how the Taylor series expansion is utilized in order to linearize the model. Okay. सो लिनाइजेशन कैसे हुआ आप इसको देखिए जरा यहाँ पर मैंने बताया द क्यू नॉट इज अ टर्म वी हैव टू एक्सपेंड यू हैव टू एक्सपेंड यूज द टेलर सेज एक्सपेंसन ओके सो क्यू नॉट एच को आप एक्सपेंड कीजिए क्या होगा तो फर्स्ट टर्म देन द फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव एंड माइनस इन टू डेविएशन सेकेंड डेरीवेटिव डेविएशन का स्क्वायर फैक्टोरियल टू ड्राइडर फैक्टोरियल टू एंड Q Q not triple dash that is the third derivative H S H minus H S whole Q and factorial three and so on right इस तरीके से चलता है ठीक है since the deviation H minus H S is very very small and the square and the square cube and the higher order of this term may be neglected may be neglected because this is very very small value. So therefore, I am saying this is approximated, and therefore it is also said the model is approximated. So approximated model, right? Linearization is also known as approximated model, right? Because we have neglected so many terms, higher terms, right? So Q not H S and and also the steady state value will change. The uh, the response also will change. And therefore, we are saying this is the one of the approximated model. So, linearization model is also known as approximated model, right? 
सो जस्ट वी हैव टेकन क्यू नॉट इज टू क्यू नॉट एस प्लस क्यू नॉट एस एच एस ये हो गया आपका इक्वेशन ओके सो दिस इज अ डेरिवेटिव तो वी हैव टू टेक द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द फर्स्ट दिस इक्वेशन राइट क्यू नॉट इजिकल टू सी एच पावर वन बाई टू आप इसका डेरिवेटिव कर लें दिस इज द डेरिवेटिव राइट जस्ट पुट दिस वैल्यू क्यू नॉट इज टू ऑल दिस वैल्यू इन टू द इन टू दिस हेयर राइट क्यू टी माइनस क्यू नॉट टी एज टू एडी एच बाई डी जस्ट पुट दिस वैल्यू राइट क्यू माइनस दिस वैल्यू एडी एच बाई डी सॉल्व कर लो यू कैन सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन वंस अगेन लाइक दिस वन है ना आप इसको सॉल्व कर लीजिए तो सॉल्व आफ्टर द सॉल्विंग यू विल गॉट द ट्रांसफर फंक्शन एच एस एज टू अगेन द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर सिस्टम रिमेंबर द ऑर्डर विल नॉट चेंज बिकॉज इट इज ऑनली द सिंगल टैंक सिस्टम If the if the if the two tank will cascaded either in the interacting or the non-interacting form, what is the meaning of the non-interacting and interacting? We will discuss day after tomorrow. Then the model will become the second order system. Okay, second order. If the two system, if the three system, three tank will consider the th system become third order. If the four tank system, then the system become fourth order, right? Here it is all of the tank single tank system. Therefore, the the model is of the single. Uh, so you can say the first order, right? So R one upon tau s plus one, where tau is equals to defined a into R one a r. Tau is equals to a r. Remember, for the tank system, tau remain a r. What is r? R is nothing but the this is the characteristic of the valve. Any doubt in up to this point? Up to this point? No. Okay. so now we are going to discuss the third part 